I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling good. You know, it's, it's 7 o'clock, so you know what time it is. Come on, it's that man-to-man time. Yeah, it's, it's that time, man. So, you know, we're about to go live. We're live right now. Uh, you know, of course, I'm going to share like I normally do every single week. I share the show yeah. before we really get into it. You know what I mean? We got we to gotta really go. Because this, this, tonight's topic is going to be a good topic tonight. It definitely is. It's going to be stuff that it, it touches on everybody's life. No, I agree. I agree. And so I'm really excited about tonight's topic because I I just experienced a real interesting scenario, uh, situation, I should say, uh, okay. this this past week, past weekend and stuff, where misery loves company, like all the way. And that's tonight's topic. So if you're just now logging into the show, and so I'm, I'm going to wait a few minutes before we get all the way started um, because on man to man, you know how we do it, Chris. We got to keep it all the way one thousand, man. Yeah, we got to tell. We got to tell it like it is. Rather, yeah, it hurts, it hurts but yeah, rather- yeah. <laughs> no, no doubt. And, and, and honestly, I think when we have these 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 real talks mm-hmm. with each other and with our audience, because we love it, of course, when the audience you know, uh, joins in on the conversations and interacts with us. Because just so you know, just in case if you don't know, when Chris and I are live like this, you can comment um, in the comment section. And we hear, I mean, we could read everything. And, you know, we'll read your comment and interact with you and everything within the show. So, um, Chris, I don't know if you've shared the show yet, but uh, if you can... Share the show on your personal Facebook because uh, it's about to go down right now. Look, this, this oh, that man, time. Man. This that time when I, I have to be all the way at one hundred, and I'll be like, "I'm gonna share it the way I think I know how to share it." I'm not sure if I'm sharing it, but it's it's. it's <laughs> you know I ain't good. With oh my god! Right you know I'm not good with this stuff. <laughs> no, I hear you. I hear you, man. It's all good. All you got to do is hit the share button, bro. Hit, you know, read. You know, black folks don't like to read. <laughs> you you got to go go over the video and, and hit the share button. Share it. That's all you have to do. Hit okay. the share button. Hold and on. once you hit that share button, yes. I'm trying to figure it out because, look, I see the link on my Facebook. But what I'm saying is ain't no sh- – oh, okay, I see. I think that's share. I think that says share. Man. I might have read it. I might have read it this time. <laughs> See, black people don't read. Black people don't read. Look, this is a perfect stereotype right here. <laughs> Did you share it? Yes. Okay, good. Thank you. Uh, I'm glad you read. You tell me is do I do share now or do I do invite friends? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's okay. Black All right. Don't do. They give half ass um, well, directions. directions. They tell you stuff. <laughs> right. You know, be like, oh, yeah, just go to the light post, uh, make a left uh, right there when you see the sign. When you, you see know. Tiffany's on the block, that's when you bend that left. And then we right there, like, four houses down. It's the one. Right. Where- right. Ain't no purple trees. So, so, Chris, man, look, first off, okay, you know, for the viewers that are watching, man, of course, I want to welcome you to the show. Welcome to Man to Man, you know, radio, Man to Man, real talk, Man to Man, video, Man to Man, live, Man to Man on the hottest network, you know, uh, in the planet, Hot Topics Talk Radio. Um, so welcome. If you're viewing the show for the first time, you're viewing our live, we've got to welcome you and everything like that because, uh, you know, we have some real conversations on here on Man to Man Radio. Uh, and if you want to go over to some of our older shows, our previous shows, you can go over to the HotTopicsTalkRadio.com, you know, uh, website, check out some of our other shows um, that we used to have on, the, you know, on Block Talk Radio. You can also check out... Um, you know, some of the other shows on the Hot Topics Talk Radio Network, like Real World News, you know, with Reggie Kearney. And Reg, man, I, we missed you this week, man. I hope, um, I really hope that everything is okay with you. Yeah. I don't know all of the details on what was going on with you, but I know um, the show was canceled this week. Um, so, my, you know, I, I said a prayer for you last night. You, um, I hope everything is well. You know, and so, of course, you know, we got to show love to you, Reggie. And also, uh, Char, I know everything is going good with you, so we'll see y'all hopefully next week. Uh, last night, um, Chris, uh, you know, our producer, Tony Breedlove, Tony Breedlove, 
and uh, Roland D, they had a great mm -hmm. show last night, um, you know. And so if you can, go over to their page, you know, Hot Topics, and check out their show from last night because it was actually a dope, dope, dope show. Like, real talk. So Funny basically, you show love to the Hot Topics family. Make sure you come yes. and show us love and that support. We can always use Absolutely. it. Make sure you your friends, cousins, aunties, grannies, if they got phones or have phones, because you know people be crying. Absolutely. So make sure yeah, you and, and, oh. yeah, let them know that you're there. You know, comment, you know, chime in with them. So, so here's the thing, Chris. So tonight's topic, you know, I, I wanted to come up with this topic, Misery Loves Company, mm -hmm. right? Because, I mean, granted, we talked about, uh, we, we talked about a similar topic like this um, maybe a few months ago, and it was talking about, we were talking about, you know, vampire people, people that just literally or, you know, they suck the life out of you sometimes. Yeah, drain your energy. And you, yeah, and you know, misery loves company. You know how it is, man. You you waking up in the morning, you, you know, you, you put your fly clothes on, you got your cologne on, you hopping in your nice clean car, you got your music playing, you on your way to work, everything's good, and then your phone ring. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Am I the only one that that I mean? Am I the only one that has experienced this? Where my phone ring at like seven thirty in the morning or whatever, and I'm sitting here looking like, do I, do I really want to answer this phone? Am I am I really trying to go there right now? Like, am I really? I know they're right. they gonna just be complaining about something, and you really trying to figure right. out if you can answer that line or not? Right, and it's and it's too early for this shit. Sometimes, sometimes it's too early. Like. You know, I, I haven't even had my cup of coffee yet, you know, and already somebody's trying to talk to me about something that that's like, you know, super dramatic in their life. And, it, and it's not you the know. problem that they're, you know, they're bringing it to you. But if it's consistent, like it's always right. that same person It's like like I, I have I have a friend that, you know, cool people's like that's my people's. But no matter what, whenever she hit me up. Drama, drama, drama. I'll be like, hey, girl, how's everything going? Right. Well, my back hurt all day yesterday. Um, See? My family was tripping. Um, I didn't right. have no money for my bill. But, I mean, outside of right. that, I mean, I guess everything is okay. You like, it just, like, it's, okay. It's, sometimes it's like, can you just tell me, yeah, everything is good. Life is great. <laughs> right. Or, or, you know, or the people, you know, that, that, that will sit there and tell you that, um, things are going good and things are going great. You know that mm -hmm. they're like really faking, you know how things are really going in their life. Um, and I and I, you know, I understand. But then you start talking about how things are really going great in your life, and then you hear like the sigh in the conversation. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, well, you know, I wish, I wish, I wish things were like that. In my, you know, with my situation, you know I don't how even things stuff. are with me. I don't even like stuff. Yeah, man, I, I had, you know, I think. No, no doubt. And so there's like several different, I mean, of course, this this topic, many different areas that we could take this. You know, he loves company sometimes at work, you know, at, at you know, if you're a newer misery loves company, definitely mm -hmm. In relationship, and and, and, it, and it's it's real weird because like I remember when I used to work for this company back in the day, right? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. and low key, I used to love that job. I loved that job, and I would go in, and we we only had to go into the office like maybe every Friday because it was outside sales, oh, nice. right? Yeah. So every every Friday, all the salespeople came in, you know, to the office, and we had our district sales managers, and usually, we saw our district sales managers probably, maybe, you know, once a, once a week on Friday, or twice a week sometimes, but most of the communication was via, you know, text message, over the phone, you know, we, it was a hands-off position, so yeah. to speak, you know, hands-off management, so sometimes I would go, and, you know, I would have lunch with my manager, Okay. Because you know we we had a dope relationship, and now he's doing re he's doing great. You know he's he's doing really awesome in his life, and uh, but we would have like a great relationship. We would go to lunch sometime. You know our wives knew each other. You know things were cool, but 
one of my coworkers who happened to be one of my close friends at work mm-hmm. didn't like my boss. You know, didn't like my boss. And maybe he didn't like the management style of my boss because my boss was he was kind of passive. He let he gave you enough room to kind of manage your accounts versus right. micromanaging you. Manage yourself. You know. Right. You know, you're grown. I don't need to ask what you did today. I don't need an email correspondence. I don't need to see a cold call list. I don't need to see none of that. I know you did your job because we pay you good money to do your job. Right. And your numbers look great. So let's talk about other things. That's the way the boss was. Sounds but, good. right. But, you know, my, my buddy that I used to work with, he wanted somebody that was more hands-on because he wasn't technically savvy. So, you know, he didn't really use a laptop too well. He didn't really use his cell phone too much. He's old school, so he wanted to write everything down on a piece of paper. So yeah. I would hear the complaints. Oh, man, I'm, I'm tired of this shit. Ah, uh, man, you know, uh, you know, man, you know, he, you know, what kind of management is it? I don't get no support, you know, and because he's my friend, you know, I'm sitting here listening to it like, yeah, that is true. He is kind of hands off. Yeah, I remember that one time I put that order in and I was trying to call him and I couldn't get back with him. And then all of a sudden that that negative energy started that to onto you. <laughs> wow, man, it started to just, it started to just fester all in me. And I didn't realize that it was doing it. But then I started realizing that I was just, I was just talking shit about my old boss in a way. And and that's crazy, because it's like, you didn't have no issues before that. And it's like, not one weird. issue. And like, like, I'm actually dealing with a situation like that right now, like even with my job that I have right now. Yeah. I had been working with this person for so long. I had this whole mindset on all this particular whole group. So the person left and I've been having to work with both sides. So I'm up here like, man, I don't even want to deal with these people. These people don't work together. They don't communicate. They don't know how to yeah. talk. Like they're mean. They're, you know, all about their, they're pretty much, they're all on their own. Like there's a, there are a bunch of individuals. So okay. my staff, I'm like, you know, we do our thing. We communicate. We get along. Well, we like a family. But the crazy thing is I have been listening to him for so long. And now that that person's not Mm -hmm. there right now, I've been working with these people for weeks. And I'm like, damn, I'm like, Uh. my whole spirit is different about them because I actually get to see what they're all about. But like I said, this whole time, it's like I've just been being fed something different. So it was kind of a trip to see how I allowed that person to see them in a different light and didn't really even give them a chance to really like, you know, show themselves. So it just, it just right. Just right there, how that spirit can get on you and really change your perspective on who people are or what people do. Right. Now, how did you, how did you overcome that? How did you like really just overcome that and, and, and get yourself to the point where you were just like, all right, let me just well, cause me check I, myself, so to speak. I do different than than most people when it comes to work. Like I'm all professional. So it's like, Mm -hmm. and that's what I always tell people. Like, regardless, you still got to do your job. Like you might not like the person at work. You might not get along with people, but you still have to do your job. You still have to do what you're expected to do when you come. So for me, it was just like, okay, they don't communicate. I'm going to try to see if I can get them to communicate. But the thing was, it wasn't really all that hard. I, I said a few different things. I told them what I was looking for, and it just kind of went smooth. Like, we haven't had any issues. So I guess what to mm. answer that, I basically just dove right in, hoping for the best, and it worked out. Nice. Now, see, that's dope. That's dope because, and like with me, you know, and what I was dealing with, it got to the point where, I came into the office, man, on Friday sometimes with a low-key chip on my shoulder, man. Yeah. And not just mad at my boss, but just, like, <laughs> upper management because they were doing something wrong, you yeah. know? And, I, and, and, it, and it festered in me for maybe about three months, Okay, you know? And, and I was on track to, to be promoted and everything like that. And it got to that point where I just had to – I had to break away just a little bit. I had to make a – you know, and I was young. I was – I was probably in my like mid twenties, I think. You know, mm-hmm. so of course, being mid twenties and you you have a friend that's like in in their uh, you know forties at the time, maybe early fifties. You're looking yeah. at them for a level of leadership, right. you know, kind of. And so, um, 
I had to break away. I had to pray about it. I had to really become a totally different person. And then finally, I got back on track. You know, okay. once I kind of cleansed my spirit of that energy. But, you know, I think misery loves company in the workplace. And you have to, like, just like you said, man, don't don't let nobody mess up your money, man. Don't let hey, nobody mess up your job. But it's hard, though. And, and I know, like, like it's, it was a couple people I used to talk to on a regular basis, like, at my job. And, yeah. like, we used to kind of motivate each other because it's like, you know, like, I, like I work in the medical field. So right. it's always a lot going on. There's always a lot of negativity. So it's kind of like what I would start off my day with people. Like, this is my close people, though. Like, we right. would see each other. And the first thing I would say is, you're stronger than every situation today. There's nothing that can come. Okay. You're in control of everything. Don't allow anybody okay. to from you today. And it was kind of like, that's yeah. the little pep talk. I would have with them and they would say certain things back to me and stuff, but it's kind of like you need to be mindful of stuff like that. Cause I mean, you can walk into work and people could just drain you instantly. Like, no, just, that's true. That's true. Some stuff that happened or somebody didn't do or from their personal. Right. Life. And it's Man. like, you, know it, you were tied into whatever bullshit they had. No, that's and, real. That's real. It ruined your day. Yeah, that's so true. And, and but you know what? That that that's true. That people are like that, and you know you can't let nobody mess up your money. You can't let nobody mess up your style. Yeah. And understand, a job is a job. You know, mm-hmm. or or even, you know, what what trips me out is you know how when you're when you're an entrepreneur, mm-hmm. right? When you're an entrepreneur, um, I think that's a real interesting type <laughs> of uh, position. Yeah. Because you you can't really tell everybody your dreams. Like okay. you can't tell somebody with a job that that constantly works a job and that's their mindset is a job. You you can't you can't you Look. can't tell them. You know you can't Look. you can't. Uh, no, because I'm thinking they're nat- If this is not a true friend or somebody right. that really loves you their natural instinct is to think negative about it. So if you're like, yeah, I got my own business, they're like, oh, that ain't going to last. Right. Oh, what you going to be doing? You ain't going to make no money. But well, you know you're right. Gonna, it's that negative thing right No, that's true. <laughs> no, that's true, man. And I think that's the funny thing. Like, even with, like, being an entrepreneur, man, that's the funniest thing because, you know, you're, you're talking to somebody about your dream or what you want to do in your life, and they, they sitting there just giving you that, that look, like, Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, oh okay. Oh, and, good you know, and so it, it, yeah, oh, good luck with that. Oh, that's great. Yeah, you know, and so it's, it's one of those things, you know, and so you got, you can't be, you can't tell everybody your dream because at some point, you know, people, they might shit on your dream, man. They, not everybody has the same belief system that you have, you know, right. but then here's the interesting thing. And I'm glad, you know, we got to talk about this because, you know, it's about to get real mm-hmm. in relationships, bro. Misery loves company. Yeah, you okay. know, you know what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Misery loves company because I mean, think about it. Things could be going great. You could be in a good lane in your relationship, things like that. Somebody could be, you know, just just having a hell of a time in a relationship. And so mm-hmm. they just believe that everybody's relationship has to be bad. Yeah. Everybody. You know, and then um they bring you down. Like if, if the girl is cheating on them, they bust at the girl cheating or whatever. Yeah, you know, I hate all these women. You know, I hate all these bees. I Man. hate all these, you know, they nothing but hoes. All Man. these women, all women. Or or the big thing that they all say now, oh, you know, all men cheat. All men cheat. Like, no, they don't. Like, all men don't cheat. They will cheat if you guys stop giving it up. How about that? I mean, <laughs> if you say, if you say, if you say no, all the damn time, they will cheat. <laughs> and, and, and we don't want to label all men that. You know, some men might just leave. You know, he might not cheat. He might just leave. Right, he might not. But right. Like, you're right about that. And, 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 and I hear that, you know, I, I don't know. I, you hear that more from women, more negative. Right. Being more negative towards men. And, you know, it's right. whack because at the same time, like. It's real whack, dog. It's they real whack. They don't understand a lot of the stuff that we deal with and have to go through just to actually have a good relationship with a woman. I mean, I, I'm glad I'm not single because to get in with a girl now, it just seems like it's way too much. You gotta, you gotta do. Yeah. Something. Show her you got this. Show her you got that. 
And, you know, right. he is just it's ridiculous to me. No, it's true. And then how many, I mean, granted, besides a, an exceptional few, like besides, there's a few that are exceptions to the rule. Like, I honestly wanted to get married, right? Mm-hmm. I wanted to get married, you know, but, and that was only because I wanted to be different from what my father was, you know, and, and you know, and, and that, that we've talked about that before. Yeah. In relationships and stuff. Not saying he's a bad person, but, you know, I wanted to be different. Mm-hmm. So. But not every man walks around talking about, yeah, I want to be with a woman so she can tell me what I need to do for the rest of my life. So she I can know, ask I, me where I'm going all the time. I wasn't thinking about you know, that. So she could, yeah, yeah. So she could tell me when to park. Or ask, you know, I ask her a question on what does she want to eat. She don't know the answer to And we get into an argument about she don't know what she want to eat. You know, like, who does that? You know what I mean? Like, a lot of people don't really get into, you know, relationships or whatever like not every man wants to be married not every man wants to be married I didn't you know even, I, didn't, but, I didn't even think i would ever get married to be honest with you that was never my focus i right. mean i kind of like i watched my dad's life i mean even though him and my mom got married but i mean i watched a whole lot of years where he was single and i yeah. didn't see nothing i didn't see nothing wrong with it i, I he took care of his kids um, I would say right. he was more driven as far as taking care of his kids and dating women and being out there every other weekend. Like, that wasn't his focus. So, for me, I kind of was like, I mean, hell, I'm, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm gonna end up, I don't think I'll ever be married. I'll have my kids and then, you know, just make sure I'm always supportive in their life. But, you know, you get older and there's more that you want. Like, there's a lot more that you want in life. So, you just, I don't know, you make the adjustment. Uh-oh, I see Tony on the show. <laughs> That's only because I think Richard lost his feed. Oh, no problem. Look, mm-hmm. I'm just glad it wasn't me this time. I paid my bill. <laughs> well, while we're waiting for Richard to get back, I think this is a good time that I can mention the sponsors. Man to Man Radio and the Hot Topics Talk Radio Network is sponsored by Shades of Africa in two locations, in the city of Corona and in the city of Long Beach. Also sponsored by SPMG Media. We thank you, Miss Gina Smith, for all that you do and making sure that the entire network continues to be relevant all over the world, as well as Big Reg, <laughs> Reggie <laughs> Kearney, Editor-in-Chief of Urban Sentinel. So you got to make sure that you check out the Urban Sentinel. It's none of that fake news like uh, Red Lobster number 45 talks about. It's real news. <laughs> and also, last but not least, uh, Ninth Island Cultural Club. We'd like to thank Miss Jamie E. right here in Las Vegas. So Ninth Island Cultural Club, they do a lot for the community, uh, really, really throughout the Las Vegas Valley. So to all of our sponsors, we really thank you for your continued support. So I I thought that Richard will be back. <laughs> well, he, I, and I know he's probably frustrated with it. I'm, like I said, I'm just glad it ain't me because you know, you know what I told you. I, I've been sitting up here these last couple of weeks talking to myself while y'all having a conversation in the background. <laughs> right. <laughs> like I got people coming to me at work the next day talking about, you was just talking the whole time. <laughs> like they was talking, but you was still talking the whole time. And I'm like, this live stuff, you got to keep talking. Like, you don't know who watching and if it's on you. So you just got to keep it going. Yeah, you know, and that's the thing with live. People don't understand that, you know, it's like it, it, it's no time to react. Right. You know, it, you, you can't even react. You just got to keep going. And it's like as soon as they see you on camera, right, it's like, oh, dear God, now they messed up. Well, we yeah. won't let you know we messed up. <laughs> nah, we got I, things I, under I control like here. I, said, I mess up. I mess up. I don't come to your job talking shit about you. So you <laughs> <laughs> I oh my god! Hey, I, I have a field day on your ass. Curtis. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Miss Anjali, she said, yeah, uh, you held it down. Uh, yeah, you did hold it down, Chris. Thank you. You did. <laughs> now, so, look, I know you had so something for... to say. I know you had something to say when I said all these women be having negative talks about men and how uh, how all men are all cheaters or all men are bad, men ain't shit and all that type of stuff. <laughs> I, I know uh, but, but no, me? No. 
No. There go my bullshit face. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, but, but Miss Carolyn did. She says, same is true for females. Everyone doesn't want to be married. And that's the, and and you know what, but see, this is my thing though. Do, do they figure that out later in life or did they feel like that earlier in life? Because I notice a lot of women more so usually want to get married, but it's just a certain time frame of when they're thinking about it. Not in their mid twenties, but you know, maybe thirties. You know what? I I don't know. I think it would be a mixture. I really do. I think it would be a mixture. I I, I don't think that there would be a certain age limit as to when that could possibly happen. I mean, it just depends on circumstance. Right. When you think. I I just know guys ain't growing up talking about, I can't wait to get married and have my wife. I've never heard a guy talk like that in my life. I would almost think it's weird if I did hear a guy say something. Yeah, I was going to say you'd have to worry. You right. you you surely have to worry. <laughs> I mean, I think, I think, oh my god! I think one of the reasons why I I even went that route was because, like I said, it was like my life was different. I moved to a boring neighborhood. I I had a job. I was going to work and coming home, and I was like, oh, I guess that's what you do next. But but I mean, that ain't what you do next, especially depending on how old you are. Like that's not what you do. You know, but right. you know, I've, been, I've been pretty fortunate. You know, things have just played out as long. It's been a long time in this marriage. So, you know, it's just been fortunate to make it work. But, you know, as far as that misery loves company thing, I was telling Richard, I said, um, normally when you're in a good relationship, you have a bunch of people dogging your relationship or they have stuff to say behind your back. So it's kind of like you're always dealing with stuff like that, especially if you're like hanging out with groups of friends. And you know what? That's a good, that's, I'm glad you said that, but let me ask you this. When you're hanging out in a group of friends, you know, and this is like your constant hangout group Mm -hmm. and you guys are doing things together. Don't you think that's a little, um, it kind of lends to some of the problems you might have later on though, because some of those couples might be miserable. Now watch this. Maybe five years ago, I would have said yes. And the reason why is because of the group of people that I was hanging out with, the mindsets were all different and more so like, look at me, look at us. We have this, we look like this. Whereas the group that I'm hanging with now, we kind of like, we don't pay attention to what we have within our own situations. We just enjoy each other's company. So I almost want to say it just depends on the maturity of the people that you're around or the people that you're entertaining, because if you're with good people, their conversations and their focus is different. It's not going to be on like cars, clothes. Um, oh, I'm such a good husband. Oh, I'm such a good wife. Because people be bullshit. A lot of people be on that face. <laughs> That's why. I, look, and I don't mean to be vulgar with it, but I'll be like, fuck that. I don't want to hear that bullshit. Because at the end of the day, I'd rather people see what really goes on. Because I've had, I've had actually people come up to me and be like, I just want to know how you keep it going or how you guys make it last because me and my girl be going through this. And I'll tell them like, yeah, we go through the same thing. So that way they can understand. It's not just your fucked up situation. There's a lot of people that got that. Right. You know what I mean? Hey, what's right, up, y'all? Right. Sorry about that. All right. So so now that you're back, I'm going to get yeah. out of here again. I'll be sitting well, hold in the on. background, Don't you guys. Yet. What did, what did I miss? What did Look, I miss? No, you didn't miss nothing because first of all, since I'm on here, I'm going to tell your listeners just how bad you treat me. Okay. They don't know what goes on before the show <laughs> begins. Well, you know, you so, like you well, you know, you Go ahead, Tony. Go ahead, Tony. Show so, show them what they don't know. <laughs> I even going to put something like that, Tony. Hey. That's a private conversation. I'm not gonna put you out there like that. Uh, see, you want to go there? I'll go there. No, I wasn't <laughs> gonna show them anything. I wasn't gonna okay. show them anything. But I'm just gonna tell them that they need to pray for me because of all of the things that you guys put me through. You know, all the, all the, when all the mental abuse. Look. When you yes, because see, when you're a senior <laughs> citizen, no see, one I, should go through what oh, see, I now she's go old. through. You hear, you hear this? Yeah. You hear this? Don't give me that face. You hear this, Chris? <laughs> when you a question. senior citizen. Let me ask you a question. Are you getting the senior discount yet? 
Hell right. yeah. Wait, you get your AARP no card? Serious. Wait, you I get sure your a do. AARP card? I'm calling the government on your yeah. ass. I'm calling. They, wait, they wait, so hold on. Your ass sometimes. Wait, serious? wait, hold on, Chris. Hold on, hold on. So, Tony, Tony, do you feel some type of way when you see those uh, life insurance commercials come on late at night and they talk about if you're 55 to 85, we'll no. still insure your ass? No, no, I'm, no, I'm, no, you... I'm, no, I'm, I'm going to be real with you. I'm going to tell you some shit that scare me. I'm going to be all the way honest about this shit. You know, you be watching TV at night, right? And you be seeing those, uh -huh. those commercials, erectile dysfunction. I'll be thinking about it. <laughs> when I get over it, my shit just not working all of a sudden. Like, like, right. To be honest with you, I'm okay, like, this, right. is, this is you in 10 years. What's that? <laughs> no, no. Hey, girl, that's not the way my daddy said it. <laughs> <laughs> right. I don't know. Wait, what you used to... Hey, what's Tony used to dealing with? Look, Hold on. Let me explain something to y'all watching live. It's because I want to keep y'all ready. I want to keep y'all here. But she ain't gonna never do me like this. You better put your goddamn hands up and then put both. Like hey, hey, she did she did she did make you a part of the millimeter Peter crew. <laughs> she did that. <laughs> she made you a part of the millimeter Peter crew, dog. She did that. You know. Hey, un understand hey, hey, understand what's really going on, huh, Chris? You, uh, you so like you talking like my, into that mic, don't you, Tony? You like that mic? Hey, like my dad told, told me, <laughs> whatever. Damn minute sweats because of me. <laughs> I can't stand okay. you. <laughs> hey, shorts are out of bounds. Stand you. <laughs> shorts are out of bounds. That's it. We wear okay. nothing but sweats. So, and we so carry now duct that tape. everybody... <laughs> Tony, look. Now that you guys are to me, I'm going to go. Okay. See you soon. I I'm going to go in the background. and I. <laughs> they saw a little bit I'm of the mental sit. abuse before the show. They saw a little bit. It was a little mental no, abuse. No, they didn't. No, they That's didn't. Little... I like. No, you know, they nice didn't. Mic. No, but the That's thing nice was, mic. Tony and I were Tony and I were talking about relationships and just that whole misery. <laughs> Look, That's no, but it's way. true. <laughs> And the thing it's is, true. like, it was touching on it was touching on what you were talking about earlier because you're like, you know how like you can have such a great relationship and then you have yeah. those certain people in your group that hate on your relationship oh. or have things to say. So she was asking me, like, when you're in a relationship, like, with the, I mean, not when you're in a relationship, when, when you're hanging out with groups of people within, like, relationships, doesn't that kind yeah. of bring negativity towards your own relationship? Well, and it I, can. And I, hold on, I'll tell you what I told her, and then I'll let you comment on it. I told her, basically, if she had asked me this maybe five years ago, I would have said it definitely does, because... The type uh -huh. of people that I was hanging out around, their mentality uh -huh. was completely different. So they were like, you know, it was all about our relationship is beautiful. Look what the nice clothes we have. We just bought the, we got the nicest uh, Gucci shoes, all that kind of stuff. Or we just went to this and all of that. So, Man. but like with the people yeah. that I'm hanging out with now, my group, we don't focus on stuff like that. We're not focused on who has what in their household, whose relationship is the best. That's dope. We just, we're focused. We love yeah. each other company yeah that's good that's good that's, oh, that's good dope. so now so now i'm gone got too damn okay. serious we love you me. tony go, <laughs> go ahead go ahead we know you want to talk into that mic again go ahead girl go ahead do your thing Look, she getting off the line serious turn turn, Sorry, turn turn your don't you worry about it girl don't turn, you worry. Turn, turn your camera off girl go ahead because we just looking at you talking to the mic with the voice the voice <laughs> No. no, hey Chris, real talk, man. I understand. I see, I see what you're doing, Tony. Go ahead, go ahead, Tony. go ahead. Yeah. So, no, nah, hey, but real talk, Chris. I understand where you're coming from because, like, with my group of friends, we got we got some cool group of friends. Some of them are single, you know, and and they speak nothing but love and positivity over, you know, the different relationships, and they want that, you know, or. You know, some of them are in relationships, you know what I mean? Like a lot of them are in relationships. Not all of them are married, but they're in like committed relationships, right. you know. And, 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 and here, here's the interesting thing. So I was going – when we got to the relationship part, I was going to tell you about the drama. Okay. Man, man, look. I'm, I'm kind of beside myself a little bit, so you might hear me say certain things man, you that you're out. not accustomed you to hearing say, me say. say it with your chest. 
All right, so I'm going to say it with my chest, and I'm going to keep it all the way 1,000. I'm going to keep it all the way 1,000. And, and people who – I'm just going to put it out there, Chris. So, so one of my close, close friends, like my wife's BFF, one of my yeah. close, close friends. I'm giving you all the laundry, right? Yeah, I know. Like, I'm giving. I'm going to give you all the dirty laundry, bro, tonight. I got to do it because I got to get it off my chest because, like, her ex-husband, right, <clears throat> my, my wife's BFF ex-husband, like he's the dude that when I say misery loves company, if you look in the dictionary, OK, if there was an infomercial on this shit, he would be holding like something like this, probably like five, five kids by different women and like three baby mamas in all these other states. And, you know, uh, child support chasing his ass. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like and there was a time. There was a time. Here's the cold part about it. There was a time when me and this dude was like cool because yeah. he was with my wife's BFF. And we were like real cool with each other because low key, he he has um, all of, you know, he's our personalities are similar to each other. OK. And so he's a good father, a caring father, mm -hmm. you know, Um on the surface, you know, he's good to his 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 ex wife. Brother, if you don't get like to what happened, goddamn. Hold on, dog. Hold on. I'm gonna get to it, but I have to set it up right. I gotta set it up right because there's the good and the bad. I don't want to just come on here and talk shit. You feel nah, me? Talk shit. Like, I don't hear the shit. I'm no, gonna I'm gonna talk shit. shit. But there's yeah, the we, good and the bad. We don't like we don't like that, brother. I don't care about this, brother. Okay. Tell me what he so did. okay, so so y'all might hear me say a few curse words right now. So he said now you know. Yeah, y'all might hear me say a few curse words right now, you know, because usually I try to keep it all Disney. You know, I try to keep it all smooth and cocoa butter. You know what I mean? Majority of the time. Mm -hmm. So this motherfucker, dog. So what he does, what he does, misery loves company. He's in state visiting his daughter and everything like that. This is the straight biggest bitch move <clears throat> of the decade, of the, of the century. <laughs> now, mind you, my wife's BFF moved on. She has a great relationship, has a new son with her new, you know, with her, her, her soulmate relationship she that she's, she's in. She moved on. This nigga done had, man, excuse my language, but this, this nigga done had like one baby by a young girl. And then he got a young girl right now, kind of pregnant. You know what I'm saying? So he's just like, he's all the way, he's all the way like, you know, crazy. So, so here we go. He moved on, but he don't want her to be happy at no. all. He don't want her to be happy. Typical. So he so he messes around. He 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 hacked into his ex-wife's <laughs> Facebook. What he do? Over the so weekend. So what he do though? He hacked Dude, he hacked into his ex-wife's Facebook. He sees pictures and stuff of like her and her dude and, you know, her dude with the kids and you know, her dude that she that she's with now, you know, he's like a real stand-up cat. You know, he coaches the softball team. He yeah. coaches football team. You know what I mean? He's the cheer dad. Like he's a super dad. You know what I mean to yeah. to kids that aren't biologically his. He doesn't he's he's not he's like these are my kids. These are my daughters. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's promoting these kids. But, you know, he, she's sit, he's sitting there, and she's the same way. They're very goal-oriented. She works real hard, but does her thing. What do, though? Like, I want to know what he did. Okay, he so, this dude, so this dude logged into her Facebook, okay? This dude logged into the Facebook, right? Mm -hmm. He starts talking shit about me. About you? He starts talking sh about me. Yeah, he what starts talking shit about me. Well, because I'm still a part of the circle, and this motherfucker ain't part of the circle no more. This dude is is irrelevant. So you telling like, me this man, this, this man is mad because he out the circle, so he trying to find out who the hell is still in the circle. Pretty much, like it, it's one of those things where it's like, why you got pictures with with Richard, and and you know why you got pictures with my kids and his kids, and you know and why you, just hating over the stupidest stuff. So he so goes on, and he starts. He hold on, it gets better. He no, he hacked her, but then on top of being and told her, sent her text messages and everything. But then on top of that, he starts posting as if he's her <laughs> on her Facebook, as if he's her, bro. He starts posting as if he's her. Like if that's not 
the biggest bitch move of the decade. Like, who does that? Like, we're, yeah, that's we're 30. A bunch of men. That's one thing I'll tell you. It's too many men that act like bitches out here because they hang right. around females and they're not around Man. Women. Teach them and show them right. how to be. That's, right. That's the I mean, why, like, is that was that really a surprise to you when it happened? No, it was definitely a surprise when it happened because at first when I saw it, you know, because it came from her page right. and, you know, and she said it. So I was like, that's not her character. Like she said some stuff like and, and not her, but he said stuff as if it was her yeah. um, like, oh, this person is 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 a is a F boy and this person is gay and you know and talking about her dude that she's with and talking about me and then talking about her saying all these jacked up derogatory things accusing them of, of drug all type of just stupid I mean, I mean, stuff dog when you I mean at the end of the day he he thought he saw something better so it's just like I mean he he hates yeah it's, it's misery rare, it's, it's misery a woman to find a good man that I actually support somebody else's children so the fact that she got that of course right. he's salty about it like you said he's a good dad he yeah he, a he's dad, salty right? he he was a he was a good dad he's still a good dad he's still a good dad to his kids but being, I think he's not a good dad because he's subjecting. Like the internet don't go nowhere. The internet's gonna be around forever. Yeah, but who really like thinks his that? kids. Who really thinks? But that? but hold on. He, but here's the other thing. Here's the other thing, part Chris. His daughter got a full ride scholarship, dog, in oh, basketball. Huh? You feel huh? me? She's that dope. She's that mm-hmm. dope. He's in this. This dude can't even get his own hotel room. You know what I mean? Like he can't get his own hotel room. He's gonna he's gonna sit there and stay at his daughter's dorm. When he flies in town, like, who does that? Like, I don't, I don't know, but look, if I can save some money, I love my daughter. No, nah, no, nah, <laughs> no. Nah. I understand, I understand loving your daughter, dude. But when you crying broke all the time, and what you ain't got, and what you ain't this and that, and and people in the life, and people in your life, like even the ex family, the ex in laws, they try to make it easy. And then my boy over here, you know, he's been biting his tongue forever. Like trying to not let loose on this cat, even me, out of out of out of respect for the children, I haven't whooped this dude's ass yet. You understand what I'm saying? Like out of respect for this man's children, that he has a young daughter and a and another daughter. I'm there to support the daughter, you know, because she's a dope basketball player and she's that much of an athlete. And like I've had some come to Jesus talks with my wife, where my wife is sitting there like, don't do it, don't do it. No, you know, because I'm ready. To, I'm, I'm you ready. Gotta, you like, gotta mature. You gotta mature in your ways. Because at the same time, like, yeah, oh, it's definitely, easy, it's easy to pop off and want to fight. But at the end of the day, when his kids involved, and you know, she has to oh, yeah. deal with him, the kid that they father. Yeah. At the end of the day, you gotta make right. this cool. So I respect. No, respect and, and no doubt. No, no doubt. And he's made the small move every single he's made the smart move every single time. And I've made the smart move every single time in dealing with this cat when he's literally like, you know, come after talking like some real derogatory thing. Are you the only thing I'm still trying to I'm still confused. On how it's, you're it's just because it's, it's one of the I'm involved because it's like, you know, this this girl is best best friends with my wife mm-hmm. and me and my wife are married. And like I said, me and him, we were tight. Like we were cool with each other. We go to the to the clubs together. We, you know, try to do business together with each other and things like that. And low key, he even thinks that I'm part of the reason why him and his girl ain't together because he doesn't man up and take ownership for some of the shit that he was doing in his relationship with his girl. Well, let me ask you a question. Then. How did you guys' relationship fall off when they relationship fall off? Did you drop off the moment they dropped off or? Would you still cool? No, nope. no, man, man, we damn near had interventions, bro. Like me and my wife damn near had interventions with this cat. Like telling him, dude, you got to change your well, ways. Man. You can't be doing about that. Just doing him, not your wife. Just you. Right, and that's what. But no, that's what I'm saying. Like we had interventions, and so like it got to the point where even after everything was done, you know, we were still talking to each other for a minute, and then you know, I, you know, I don't know where it went. You know, because something happened to where like, I'm trying to get you to answer this question on this tip. Yeah. It's the relationship that y'all had together, and then it's a bro relationship. So my question is between but it was, him, but him, and him and I never had that bro bro relationship. Like yeah. understand. But that's weird though, because you we said never had the like, we were tight. Yeah. Yeah. We were tight. But we weren't bro bro, like you're my brother. Oh, I lo-, you know, like we're not like you and I, we're bros. We're brothers. You know what I'm saying? We're so tight. We're like friends. Yeah. 
we were friends. Like me and him were friends. Like we were cool with each other. You understand what I'm saying? I'm we were cool. It. I, it's almost like you're telling me you guys were cool when you were around each other, but like if y'all weren't like in a group, y'all weren't y'all wouldn't it, really it, talk okay. like that. Our relationship was getting to the point where it could have developed to the point like how you and I have, where okay. we could have been tight. Yeah. It was almost to that point where we could have, him and I were having those heart to heart conversations okay. because we had so much in common and it was, it was growing to that point, but yeah. it wasn't all the way there yet. Cause why I, I was saying that because I was thinking maybe when their relationship fell off, if you just disappeared like that at the same time, and I did, he looked at you different, like, okay, bro, like, yeah, that's me and my girl. We not cool no more, but that shouldn't change the way we rock. Because, I mean, I have homeboys right. like that where I was cool right. with their girlfriends and stuff. And then, you know, like I said, it went, it went whatever it went, but I'm still cool with them. Like, I got homeboys now. It's like no, they no don't doubt. people that I'm close to. And it's like at the same yeah. time. Oh, like, see, Anjali just commented. Like, did I feel some type yeah. of way? Yeah, I felt some type of way. But at the same time, it's not my job to feel no type of way about that because that's not my relationship. Like, it's not, right. I don't hold any ties to their relationship. My job is just to be cool for whatever we had. So I'm thinking maybe he thought y'all was cooler than y'all thought. Well, no, we were cool. We were cool. You know, no doubt. We were cool with each other. But understand this. Like, if you're doing some just straight, like, grimy shit to your woman, like, grimy shit. There's certain things that I just don't stand for, bro. Like, okay, you cheat, cool. I, I understand everybody make mistakes. You know what I mean? I can, I, you know, I can, I can kind of get over that. But if there's other things that happen in that relationship where it's, like, it's questionable, like, dude, I can't even kick it with you because of the way you're doing things. Like, this is the woman of your children. Like, it's almost kind of like that movie Fences. Remember in that movie yeah. Fences? When when Danzel like said, you know, and he was in that moment at the bar with his best, best friend. Yeah. You know, and you could clearly see the dynamics of their relationship change mm -hmm. where, um, you know, like, dude got it. You know, dude was telling him, like, you got a good woman, man. You got to do right by her, man. You got to, you know, don't do nothing <laughs> crazy, man. All that little extra shit that you're doing after work, man. You got to stall that out. Give yeah. that love to your woman, bro. Like, it was, like and it was kind of like that. And this is my it was kind of like that. The only thing, I, and I, because I respect it, I think honestly, as men, we should call yeah. each other out on stuff like that, or we should say stuff like that. But at the same time, I'm gonna stay in my lane. So I might feel a certain oh, way no doubt. about it, but at the end of the day, that's not gonna change my relationship with that person because that's none of my business. Yeah, like I can. Tell but see, them, I'm. But I'm. No, I hear you. I hear you. My lane. So it's no, I hear you, and there's nothing wrong with that. You would hang with them. Because of certain things that Holly was doing, and I respect it, but at the same time, yeah, I can't because it's not for what I'm for. They situation to dictate how I am with him. That's they thing, not mine. Well, but here's the thing: at a certain point, because this is my wife's friend, if there's a, a issue going on, a, a physical confrontation or anything like that, I'm going to have my my wife's best friends back. You understand that's what I'm saying? I'm gonna have. That's where we differ. What's I'm that? Out of people' business. That's no. Where Oh, no, understand. If I'm in, no, if I'm included in this, if I'm included in this, and I'm brought into the conversation on this, you know, and things like that, then it's going to be a situation where if I have to put hands on somebody, I'm gonna put hands on somebody to, to, to protect the uh, protect a woman. I'm not just gonna let my wife's friend house, go through some of the shit like that. I, I can't do that. Walk, I don't care if you walked in the house with your wife's best friend and your wife, and you caught this man sleeping with that woman with another woman in the house. That's different. Ain't no job to say. No, and I know that, man. I'm with. I agree with you on that 100. percent That part, I agree with you 1,000. percent You don't involve yourself in that. You know what I mean? Now, there were times where he was asking me like my opinion on something, like, so what are you thinking? What are you thinking? Oh man, you know. And he would have those heart to heart asking me, including me, mm -hmm. you know. And I would give him that my advice from my perspective on what I thought about it, without any type of judgment, man. You know, you you should stop doing that, dog. Like. You got to get it together, man. Come on, you know, boo, boo, boo. another man's gone. And he always took that position, man. She ain't going nowhere. She ain't going nowhere. And I was like, all right. And then finally when she went somewhere, when she went somewhere, it was like, all right. I tried to warn you. But then it was like all of a sudden there was this hatred towards me all of a sudden, like. That's the part that I gotta fault. dive into because, like I said. But see, but see, here's, here's the thing. Here's you can't rationalize. 
Well, there, it's a very complicated story, and, and trust me, an hour show will not be enough. But here's the here's my point. Here's the point, Chris. Here's the point. And I'm going to change the subject, but here's the point. <laughs> you you can't rationalize with a fool you can't like sir you have to speak you have to speak that person's language sometime because mm -hmm. see this dude this dude when i was at the game right like okay since i'm not gonna put hands on you on this game because it, it got to the point where he sent me a inbox me a like a three-page letter and stuff you know, all I mean, it was on some real just just stupid like misery loving company type stuff, man. Yeah. And so he sent me this this long three page letter a few years ago or whatever, uh, talking just shit, just talking shit. You know, to you? like basically, oh yeah, to me talking shit, and it took everything in me. Like understand, like yes, we had the show about being petty last week, and I just came to the realization that I'm like super petty. And man, let me tell you, last it took everything in me not to reply to this cat. And my wife and Jesus hold me, baby Jesus hold me down too. Like reply to not to say something send to him this a message dude. Back? I didn't send him a message back. No, I just okay, leave like it alone. I left like it alone. Reply. I meant like you meant like yeah. reply back to the message? Yeah. Like reply back to the message and then like or <laughs> confront the dude, like roll up on him and just be like, yo, like what's up like you talking you 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 talking some big things like let's let's talk about this you know like man to man let's talk about this yeah. so it took everything in me to to just kind of leave it alone and so yeah. then you know we go to the to the game a couple years ago now instead of instead of like saying what's up and all that, I don't have two words to say to this cat so he's looking at me like you know like he's waiting for me to say what's up now, yeah. instead of me putting hands on this cat, I do the next best thing that I know how to do. I look him square in the eye, and then I look at his daughter, and I said, hey, what's up, baby girl? How you doing? And moved right along to say hi to everybody else and ignored his ass. Because <laughs> if I had... <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out what brothers y'all, man. I don't understand why y'all playing games, man. Right, but right. Hold on, hold on, man. Hold on, man. Hold on. No, hold on. I had to ignore him, man, because I would have punched his lights out, like right there in the seat. If this the story gets deeper, like it gets deeper. I would have punched him. I would have punched him out, like right there, face to face. Like, understand? It's years of aggression that I'm holding in. So I le left it alone. That was the first year. So then, you know, I thought I did good. I, I thought I did good. I didn't cause no problems or nothing. Okay. Well, the next year, hold on, I did better the next year. The next year, I did even way better. The next year, when, when I see him again, you know, I actually, you know, because he, he felt some type of way. Instead of confronting me for ignoring him, you know, he tells his, his ex, ex-wife, oh, yeah, you know, that's messed up. You know, he ignored me and this and that, you know, and I was trying to say what's up to him. And she was like, well, I mean, you know, wouldn't you ignore him too? You know, and it's like I have nothing good to say to this cat. So on my best behavior... Like a year ago, on my best behavior, like a year ago, I go to the game. I see him again. I have small talk this year. I have small talk this year. Hold on, man. It gets better. I have small talk this year, right? So now that I have small talk, I'm like, hey, what's up? You know, he's that happy that I'm like, you know, I'm trying to let bygones be bygones, right? Okay. <laughs> you know, it's been like five, six, seven years. I'm letting yeah, bygones yeah, be yeah, bygones. Y'all was trying to patch it up and get the relationship back together. Well, I was just trying to be uh the bigger person yeah i was trying to be the bigger person okay. you know like like this was seven years ago what happened like whatever it's all good like man i was 30 you know i'm I'm damn near 40 years old now you know what i mean i was 32 33 years old at the time like trick it whatever so yeah. last year i see him at the game i say what's up we have small talk it was all good like cool little small talk right <laughs> so now uh, everything was cool, like not cool, cool, but it was like cordial. Yeah, it was cordial. That's all. It was cordial. So, so this is my thing. But, so to wrap that up, y'all, y'all basically pulled it back together. You basically were trying to be the bigger person out of it. So, y'all, yeah, man, afraid, but y'all don't fuck with each other. My thing is this: not at all. Men not at all. Need to act like men. We can't be sitting. Men need to act like men. Talking about why? Like who sends a message? Right. Come on, 
phone, man. Like I don't even. But we Who can't does be that? Talking. We can't be. We can't be around men and ignoring men too. I don't even understand that. Like, nah, man. Look, understand. I gotta. I gotta. I'm not gonna acknowledge this cat, man. I'm not. I wouldn't acknowledge this cat. This dude. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna acknowledge. Look, man. Hey. Because I at that time I had nothing good to say, bro. We we try to look I'm at that. Right now. The stuff that I'm teaching my son and the stuff that I will be teaching my son is not to act like any of that. Because at the end of the day, no, I, I hear you. And face your issues right then and there. We're not about I'm, to be man. I understand. I am with you, Chris. Chris, I'm with you, bro. I'm with you on that. Like, I'm yeah. totally with you on that, man. Like, I, I'm ready to face the conversation. And and look, if we have to fight. And that's what it boils down to. If we can't use our words, then we get it, get it in, get it done with, and that's it. Now, granted, I would love to have the, 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 the great situation of us talking it out, understand our differences and everything like that. But sometimes you, you can't rationalize with idiot. And, and sometimes when people have mental problems and he don't take his medication, bro, because I think low-key there's a mental problem going on. Bro, you gonna, just let me tell you something. Pull yourself out of that situation because you wait. Oh, no, I'm out of it. I'm out of it. But I will say this. I will say this, man. Like, I'm not even going to lie, man. Hands and all that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's a whole nother. But see, understand this. But see, here's the thing, Chris. Like, a lot of people know me as I'm always smiling. I'm always cool. I'm always like, I'm one of the coolest cats, man. I don't start no problems with nobody. I just be chilling. You know what I mean? I just kick it and, and live my life. That's it. Majority mm-hmm. of the time. But there's a whole other side of my personality, bro. There is an entirely different side of my personality that I don't like to bring up or I don't like for that part of me to fester. You, you understand what I'm saying? Like, there's a whole other side of my personality. And, and you're so, a gangster underneath. I understand. You, you thug. You no, thug. I'm, I'm not even a, <laughs> No, I'm not even, man, I'm not even a thug. I'm not even a gangster, man. It's just, I'm, no, I'm talking I, about the know, personality. Doctor, I'm talking about the personality. Well, the, the dude inside you. Well, know? no. Well, you know, it, it, it's almost like what Dr. Dre said. You know, I got a lot more to lose with you. Just remember that you fucking with a family, man. You know, You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> it's almost like what Dr. Trace said. Like I'm a family man, dude. Like I'm not, I'm gonna do whatever I need to do to protect my family. You, you feel well, that me? That situation ain't got nothing to do with your family, so stay out of it. Yes, it does. Yeah, man. It, like I said, the story goes deep, hey, man. The story right goes now. deep. Hey, I really, <laughs> hey, I really want to do a show on men being men because I feel like we spend too much time around women nowadays. Some of those tendencies are starting to be picked up by us. And don't take it. Hey, hold on. What the hell are you trying to say? Hold on. What, 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 what the hell are you trying to say? Trust me. It's hold on. What the hell are you trying to say? We're picking up some of the traits, and I don't like it. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Wait, are you trying to call me a – are you trying to call me a uh, – are you trying to you trying to subliminally say something to me, man? Hold on. What the hell are you saying? No, what I'm telling you is that too many men are getting All right. up in female things, and we need to get back to just being men and handling our business. And not what a, being that's the thing. Stuff that ain't got nothing to do with us. And I ain't talking about this situation. I'm talking about just in life in general. Men. Well, no, I think, and I agree. Emotions are way. I agree. Get back to being. No, a I agree. Good man. And that's well, no, the, I agree with that. I, I definitely. No, agree. I agree with that. I agree with that because if we did a show on that topic alone, then we won't have so many Mitches out here. Right. We won't have so many so many mitches, you know, and, and if we did a topic on that show, we can talk about like a similar situation, because honestly, that was a Mitch move for right. you to log into your your for you to log into your your ex wife's Facebook after you got after you done had two kids after her relationship. This, this the thing, after you even, moved on. That word, Mitch, I just call you a bitch straight up because at the end what, of the day, but that's what it is. You, you got problems with your own self. So but you know what I'm saying? Look, Absolutely. I, I definitely enjoyed the show tonight. I think I think you and I are gonna continue to do some kind of some crazy topics, and I'm, yeah. I'm, look, I'm looking forward to us, you know, because like I said, the show is man to man. I really want to see men make better changes. Well, no, I do too. I do too. And and honestly, you know, I'm not gonna say, hey, man, I'm not gonna say that I'm a saint in the way that I handled that situation. Oh, I you know. know. Um, <laughs> I'm not gonna say I'm a saint. I'm not gonna say I'm perfect. Because yeah, okay, I could have, I could have, you know, uh, been the bigger person the first time and not ignored him. But I wanted to make a point. Like 
I'm not even gonna acknowledge you. Like, I'm not even gonna acknowledge you, dude. Like, you're nothing this, to me. Just on some real G stuff, some real men stuff. Yeah. It's not even about yeah. ignoring and all of that. It's like if you got a problem, address the man. You tell him, look, homie, that shit you yeah, cool. Yeah, and I, I got a problem. Real. Like stuff like that, but we can't be doing ignoring. Yeah, looking but at. But see, I did. Can't do and it. understand, and I agree. I agree, Chris. And I did that, like, when we had the small talk outside, you know, like, the second time I saw him. I told him, I said, man, you know, you know, I don't agree with everything that you did, man, but, you know, let bygones be bygones, you know. Right. And I left it at that. So for him to bring, like, this stuff up all over again, logging into his Facebook, talking about his, 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 his girl's mom and all this type of stuff all over again, and, you know, his ex-wife, because he, you know, she moved on and he's not with her and she's happy and he's miserable. Like, dude, misery love company in that situation. But yeah. look, I know it's eight o'clock, man, and we could talk about this topic all night, man. But we got, we, we, you know what? Let's do that topic last week, next week, man. <laughs> let's do that, men being men. We did, de- we definitely let's do that. Yeah, I know Tony. What's up, Tony? How you doing? I think it should be called Man or Mitch. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I, I man or Mitch. <laughs> or, man, man or man or Mitch, man or bitch. Shit. Tricky. I just know I heavily, <laughs> I heavily put yeah. myself to be to being a real man. And I'm not gonna say that I don't have moments where I don't do some stuff that might be yeah. questionable, you know, as far as different emotions. But at the end of the day, there's a lot of stuff that men do to me that is just ridiculous. And I I'm I'm not I'm not gonna stand for it. Oh no, there is. Now, I agree. I'm good. I, I can't. I yeah. can't stuff like that. So we definitely. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's just crazy, man. I think. I think we should do a topic like that next week, and you know, talk about some different situations. Because I mean, Dr. Dre wrote a song about it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, Snoop talked about it before. Even like some of the old school singers talked about it. You know, I mean, if you want to go back to like, you know, try some tenderness with your woman, and you know, it's you know, so you know, I mean, there's there's different ways we could take this, man. I just want to talk shit about the about the the, the bitches slash bitches of the friends that I've had in the past. That's what I'm looking forward to. So stay tuned for next week because you're gonna hear a lot of that next week. Right. We're gonna, we're gonna talk about how men don't know how to be men. And the things man, I can't wait for you to go into that. If they are really men, <laughs> man, I can't. Oh, I can't really? wait. Questionable. Oh, that. See, you sound oh, like really? you got a situation like what I went through. Yeah. <laughs> so, it just was. It sound just like it's not kind of similar. Is, I definitely do. Okay. All right. So we'll talk about it next week, man. Because you know, sometimes mm-hmm. the hour isn't enough to kind of say what's really on our chest, man. You know, so. Uh, we'll we'll let you go ahead and close it out, Tony, and do your thing because I know you got to thank everybody in Shades of Africa and all that good stuff and you know SPMG Media, Gina, you know, and do your thing. So I'm about to take your job, Tony. Go ahead, close it out, baby. You <laughs> just did. <laughs> I can't stand you right Almost. now. SPMG. Go ahead, talk into the mic. Go ahead and talk into the mic, girl. <laughs> wait, wait, grab the mic and talk into it. Say it from your chest. Go ahead. I can't stand you. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There it is. You saw it, Chris. Go ahead. <laughs> oh my God. So, oh my God. You got. Oh my God. Why do you guys do this? Uh, <laughs> you've been listening to Man to Man Radio with Richard Hall and Chris Smith. We really appreciate you joining in tonight. And I want to invite you to make sure that you follow them right here on Facebook so that you have all of the information coming to you direct when they are coming on air. Also, make sure to you know invite your friends to this show. Uh, they do such a good job. And uh, sometimes I can't stand well, them. everybody. But I love them. <laughs> but uh, make sure that you do share the the uh, Facebook page with your friends and your family and coworkers and all those good folks. But Man to Man Radio and the Hot Topics Talk Radio Network is sponsored by Shades of Africa in two locations, just like Richard said, uh, <laughs> as well as SBMG Media with Miss Gina Smith. <laughs> Can't stand you. <laughs> And Talking also, the urban. We can't hear you, girl. Talking to the mic. And you. <laughs> there you go. 
There she go. I'm so. <laughs> Okay, the moment her so mouth hit that mic, I'm falling out laughing. The moment the front of her her mouth hit that mic, I'm falling out laughing. I'm telling you that now. Don't let that mic hit you. <laughs> okay. That's all I got to say. I'm going to fall out. You hey. Be careful, girl. <laughs> don't let it hit your mouth, girl. Don't let it. Don't do it. Control the mic. Control hey, it. Put your hand on back, it if you need hey, to. She's sitting back far away from me like she's supposed to. <laughs> you be careful, girl. That thing ain't no uh, She was sitting back before. <laughs> Like hey, hey, her she her was about to have a minute. She like sitting there like Miss Steely. Mm. Uh huh. Go ahead. Put your, put your hands around like this. Put your hands around like this. Uh huh. Go ahead. Put you use both hands. Use both hands. I can't stand you. I can't stand you. I really cannot stand you. Use both hands, Tony. Come on now. Don't let that mic don't let that mic run everything. You gotta you gotta run the mic. She put both hands on it earlier and it made it just excited me. I just wanna look at Richard. I just wanna look at you. <laughs> I, I'm waiting. Hey, hold on, let me get some popcorn. Go ahead, go ahead, close it out. Let me get some popcorn. some popcorn. Man, hey, go ahead. I'm gonna <laughs> I need some popcorn. I'm watching. Okay, stop. <laughs> Hey Chris, we sitting here looking at her like this, talking to the mic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead, go ahead. All right, we'll leave you alone. We'll stall you out. We'll stall you oh out. God. She got real tears right now. <laughs> she cried. She cried for the mic. Oh man. <laughs> she be crying for the mic. <laughs> she be crying for the mic. <laughs> hey. Oh man! Uh, well, you know they got the mic challenge going on. <laughs> oh my god! Uh-huh. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Real PG thirteen right now. Oh man, they got that mic challenge. <laughs> right? Okay. How has the mic changed your life? Hey. How has the mic changed your life? How has it enhanced hey, your hey, life? Hey, but you know I gotta say it like Kevin Hart. That ain't no mic. That's a dick. <laughs> You're gonna learn today. <laughs> gonna learn today. Hey, you're gonna learn today. Gonna learn long and look like today. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, my god. oh man. Come on, oh, don't, don't act like you never talked into the mic before, Tony. Go ahead, talk into the mic. Don't act like you never talked Stop. into the mic before. Use your use your voice. Okay, so now y'all just use roll. your voice. You just being vulgar right now. Tony. Yeah, yeah. Get on the mic the show. No, I'm not. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, finish it off. Finish it off. Quit playing, Tony. Finish off the show. Finish it off. Put your hand on the mic and finish finish the show off. <laughs> I promise I'm gonna tell you. I promise I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> I'm done with you. I'm so done. I'm really done. Oh my God. Go ahead. Be Put quiet. your hand on the mic. I'm gonna, you know what? Finish it off. I'm gonna mute, I'm gonna mute your, your mics. <laughs> I am. I'm gonna mute you. I'm done. <laughs> Cause I can't. I'm done. Please stop. I'm done. I might even take I'm your done. camera down so I don't have to look at you. <laughs> like, All right, I'm done. Are you done? <laughs> really, Anjali? <laughs> really? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh wait! <You're... laughs> oh my god, Tony! Wait, she said yes. Uh, that is my wife. That is my wife. Yes. <laughs> Give a happy ending, Tony. It's the end of the show. <laughs> oh <my> god. <laughs> yes. I don't even oh, know. my God. Oh, oh my, my God. God. That was funny. At this oh. <laughs> you what? Oh, my God. But I don't even know how long. Actually, I thought you were my girl. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> hey, she's I'm trying done. to help you out. <laughs> I'm done. I am done <laughs> with all of you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. We're on World News with our very own Reggie Kearney. We're praying for Thank you, you, brother. Finish it off. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead, Tony. Go ahead. Look, he done lost your line. Look, he done ran out of lines. Like, go ahead. He was lost. I know. 
Go ahead. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. SPMG Media. I, Gina, I, my girl, you. can't do nothing without you. You know, can't do nothing without you, girl. Thank you, Gina. Johnson Smith, F SPMG Media. Um, Ninth Island Culture Club. You know, can't do nothing without you. You know, and uh, make sure you tune in next Thursday. Share this with your friends. And go over to the Hot Topics Talk Radio website so you can view all of the shows on the website. Also, you can check out the sponsors uh, of all of our great shows. And you can also mention the Hot Topics Talk Radio.com website, and you'll be able to get some discounts at our sponsors. So, why do you have to do it in that tone of voice? next Thursday. Is that why how you, you do it? Talk? Like, why are you doing it in that tone of voice? Like, are I you did Tony the voice, or are you huh? Richard right now? <laughs> I did also, the voice too, the, didn't I? Make sure you drop by. I did like, the voice. No, you hear me. You got to do it like that. <laughs> I did the voice. Good. I just want to know what your voice is going. That, that's how Tony does it. No, I don't. But, hey, that's how Tony does it. Yes, that's how Tony does it. That's how Tony does it. Yep. I I, I was trying to do my impression of Tony because she's so oh, professional, okay, okay. you know. Okay, I she's get such it. a class act, you know. Yeah, she talks into the mic and everything. You know, she uses her voice. Bye. She knows how to project. She knows how to project. I'm done with you. I'm yeah. done. She used I'm all. With she you. used all. <laughs> she used Bye. all her vocal cords. You know, all of this. Bye. All right. <laughs> All right, y'all, tune in next week to Man to Man Radio. We'll see y'all next week, man. We close it out. We out of here. Tune in next week. I can't stand It's going to be a fun one. Yeah, I'm gone. I'm going to put the banner up, and that's it. That's it. We love you, Tony. We love you. Peace. Good night. We love you. I can't stand you guys. All right, y'all. See you next week. <laughs> love you, Tony. All right, Chris. Love you, girl. Have a good night, bro. See you. All right, you too, man. Great show, man. See you next Thank week, man. You, Talk to you soon. All right, man.